Okay, so we've just landed a nice fish that's definitely big enough to pump. So fish need to be more than about 12 inches in length to do a proper throat pump to find out what food sources are feeding on. So I got my fish in the net here and I'm gonna keep him in the water. He's happy. And the, the whole throat pump process is done with the fish in the water. So I got my pump here. I'm gonna fill it with water and then squirt all the water out. So it's wet on the inside of the tube and inside of the bulb, but I've got no water in the tube. And then I'm gonna depress it fully. And I'm gonna take my fish and to calm them down, I'm gonna turn them upside down. And that calms them down, still in the water. I'm just gonna take the tube into the narrowing of the esophagus. And when I release the bulb, it forms a vacuum seal. So I just went into, I felt the muscles of the esophagus tighten up. Then I back the tube out and that's all. And then I've got my sample now in the tube. I've got our fish. So I'm just gonna hold him till he's ready to go. And there, he's gone. So the, I didn't jam or ram the, the, the tube down the throat. It gently slid it in till I just feel the narrowing of the muscles in the throat grab on and form that vacuum seal. So now I put some water in my vial and then I just squirt what's it out, what's it, what was in his throat. And he's got a few things in there. I'm just gonna put a, my lid on there. And so he's got live, he's got damselfly nymphs and a shrimp and one chronomid larvae, two chronomid larvae in there. So that's what, so now I know that they're eating shrimp, they're eating damsel fly nymphs, and they've got chronomid larvae in them. So that's not a big throat sample, but for this time of year, it's a good sign that at least they're starting to feed because it is very early in the fall season. So everything in there is fresh. They're not, they're in the throat, and they've still got all their natural color and uh, they're not discolored. If I'd gone deeper into the stomach, they'd all be well dead and they'd all be bleached out with the colors. So that's the advantage of using a throat pump. You're not gonna catch or suck up big dragonfly nymphs or huge leeches, but chronomid, larvae, pupae, mayfly nymphs, downsfly nymphs, shrimp or scuds, zooplankton are all great food sources that you can sample live with a throat pump. And the fish gets to live another day. So, perfect.